what you've built is huge. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your name, the oh, business. Oh, uh, Jim Robinson. I am. I am a owner of uh, Linux. slash not James. Yeah, well, I took the. Took the <laughs> uh, our owner of Linux Solutions Provider, which is one of the companies. We also uh, trade under Gemini Consultancy Group, um, and we uh, were in business 2001. The first ever job we did, and the first ever contract we landed was from a Clear OS box. And I used a Clark Connect box, which is now Clear OS, to replace a PIX firewall in an uh, enterprise class network. Which a was Cisco PIX firewall. Cisco PIX firewall. We kicked okay. Cisco PIX to the wall because nobody could install, uh, you know, install it or understand it. And we've dropped a Clark Connect box in on an old piece. Now old Clear piece OS. Of Clear OS. Bada boom, as today, born That's today. Right. Okay. I'm going to continue to Please no, you, no, it's we're heritage. We're not heritage. We rolled it out, um, dropped it in on, on a piece of old desktop hardware with two nicks in it, and within 20 minutes we had the school system back up online. School system, how many users? How I'd many, say how many they students? Were, their FTE is probably about 3,500, about 3,500 students. Okay. So you're probably looking at about 4,000 with staff and everybody else is in there. Wow. And it was in, it was done, and it was working, and it was running off of old hardware. And probably well, stayed that way for a while. Old hardware. Back in 2000, yeah. It would have been, you know... How long do you think it stayed in production on old hardware? Oh, yeah. What well, well, took it out of production? When we, when we convinced them to buy new hardware. So it didn't, it didn't go down, you just said, hey, we need to Clark be proactive now? don't go down, man. You just leave them turned on. You know, you switch off the monitor and you encourage people not to mess with it unless you, they absolutely have to, like add a new user. And you leave Throw the monitor away. away. It's a web browser you're admin right In fact, right? you do yourself better by disconnecting the monitor so people can't you don't walk up and press control or delete, which happens a lot on Linux. <laughs> and then the internet goes down for about two minutes while it reboots. Then it comes back up again. Okay. All right, tell us about the most recent clear center box that I rolled out. New brand name today. It's Clark Connect 4.3 when I rolled it out. Okay, enterprise level. Okay. IBM 2U had four hard drives in it. Two 15K RPM 73 gig hard drives. Okay, put in a RAID one, RAID one hardware mirror was the OS, and then it had a 73 gig 15K RPM hard drive which was the Squid Cache. Okay. Okay. Mounted, at, was it Varlib Squid, whatever it is. I had another 15K RPM 73 gig SAS SCSI drive which was mounted at Var Lock. Because you'll find that the two biggest disk I.O. bottlenecks that you have on a, on a Clark Connect box that's in as a firewall in a large school system like this was, this is probably 5,000 students, okay, is the logging because of the, because yeah, of the filtration yeah. and, and the squid and the actual squid cache. So if you put the OS, the logging and the squid cache in three separate disk I.O.s, you get a firewall that will fly. Give it about 8 gigs of RAM. How many users are behind that? About 5,000. Wow. How long has it been in production? Oh, oh, they've had CC box for five years. They've same had same box. Thing. So that box. No, this can... box has been in for about eighteen months. Okay. So. Any issues with it? We haven't had any issues. The only issues we ever have is with MultiWAN. It's nothing to do with you guys. It's with the other providers going down. So. Okay. MultiWAN or Clear OS. Okay. I have a lot of customers that have bandwidth problems. Okay. I don't have enough bandwidth provided to them to service their clients on the network. Okay, so what I do is I take a clear OS box and put it into multi-WAN mode. Okay? Multi-WAN is where you have more than one connection to the internet. Okay? The box will load balance automatically. Okay? Yeah. A lot of school systems that I put clear OS on, they will have um, a finite amount of bandwidth provided to them by the state. Okay? They will go out and get a DSL connection or perhaps a cable modem from a local ISP and they will augment their um, bandwidth that they're getting from the state by using multi-WAN. Multi-WAN will allow you to put the cable modem on one interface, the state-provided connection on, on the other interface, and use both amounts of bandwidth to service the clients on the... Uh, how how many network. customers do you have this product deployed in? So Clear OS running on some Oh, Clear box. OS? Wow. Are people that are registered? 60? Uh, probably people that... 60 probably... different sites that are running this today. Probably a lot more than that. How, how, many, how long have you been setting them up? Um, we put the first Clear OS box out in 2000. What's the maximum amount of users you have behind one of them? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think the biggest school system is probably, our biggest customer would be a school system of about 5,000. 5,000 5, active users at active any potential? Active nodes, yeah. Active nodes. Nodes, yeah. There's okay. probably considerably more users. So if we just looked at your small sites, mm -hmm. what's, what's the customer's environment look like? It tends to be a small business environment. They would have um, you know, DSL or cable modem, 
and they probably use a clear OS box as a file server as well as uh, an internet gateway. Okay. You know, they're they're going to store how, their files on that. How many of those have you installed in the last five years? At least 100. Are you able to build a good business on this? Yes. yes. How many employees do you have on your I team? Have, I have five currently. Five employees. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And what are they? What are the different team members do? Some do installation. Uh, we have some do we have um, one who's a web designer and help desk tech. We have two engineers, and then we have um, a couple of office people that run that run the back end stuff. Um, you know, to keep the business running. So beautiful. I mean, the actual tech staff. We have two engineers and one help desk. What percentage of your business is run on this technology? My business is built on ClearOS. And has it been a good investment? Oh my gosh, it's been. I built my company on ClearOS. I mean, no, there's no two Wouldn't turn back with all the no, new things that have no, come out. No. You think you made the right choice? Yes, absolutely. And how long has it been? 2000. We start. We incorporate 2001. It's now 2009. So eight years. Wow, that's beautiful.